Hey everybody, uh, Dwayne here again, uh, DwayneKilborn.com. Actually, just to let you know, I got the Fitbit in the mail. Uh, finally ordered it, decided to uh, check it out. And first off, take it back a little ways. I first heard about this because of Foursquare. As most of you know, I'm a big Foursquare fanatic, probably just as much as I am a fitness fanatic. Uh, I love my Foursquare check-in and everything that goes along with it. Met a lot of great people there. Um, found some really unique specials, some great community, everything else in between. Um, so if you're not on Foursquare, <laughs> definitely check that out and um, catch up with me on there as well. With that said, the Fitbit. Now, Fitbit is this nice little pedometer of sorts that takes it another step further. And there's a few other um, competitors, I guess, out there. I've never tried any of them. Um, if it wasn't for Foursquare, I'd still probably not know which one I'd want to try so it's been out for a while and um, you know if you know Foursquare they have badges and um, Fitbit has actually partnered with them to uh, offer some unique experiences over and above what you have on Foursquare and over and above what you have um, on Fitbit directly so it's you know combined together it's a kind of a unique situation with that said here's what I think so far here's the Fitbit Ultra I think it's yeah, the Ultra. This is obviously the blue one. It's really nice because it does a few things for me. One, it lets me know how many steps I've, I've taken so far today. And today is about 4.30 right now. I haven't really been overly active early in the day. And I've already um, had 4,871 steps. 2.2 um, miles. On, um, and it's supposedly burned about... 2,000 calories, I believe. And it actually knows how many flights of stairs I've went up. Um, two. So I've, I've gone up two flights of stairs. And on top of that, it kind of gives me a little rating as to how active I've been. And it grows, the indicator goes from side to side. This thing actually lasts like, I guess the battery will last me five to seven days. It syncs up with the computer. You know, you walk around with it, it clips on your belt. They have, uh, I guess some of the females will put it on their sports bra. Um, you know, guys will put it in the pocket up here. One thing I do do a lot of uh, typically would be hitting the bike at the gym. I, I do spin class, for example, which I haven't done in the wild, but I tend to, to, to put a good number of miles on the bike. This, I think I'm going to have to put it on the laces of the shoe if I want to try to track those um, steps or, I guess, spin um, motions. So I'm going to tinker with that. Uh, in addition, um, obviously this is going to boost my <laughs> desire to to uh, hit the treadmill and hit maybe some outdoor trails as well. So that's definitely something I'm going to be checking out here uh, more and more. I know on Foursquare, for example, they have two badges. When I step or when I make at least two or twenty thousand steps in a given day, which may happen today because I'll be active tonight. If not, I'm going to try to make it happen tomorrow. That's a challenge of mine that I have. And then if I do that, I'll be rewarded with a badge. On top of that, they have a 1,000-mile uh, one, mark. So once I hit that 1,000-mile plateau, I will then get a badge as well. So hopefully I get that in six months or so, maybe less. We'll see. So that's that's the Fitbit. Um, I'd say give it a try. They Also, it's a it's newer company. They have a wireless um, scale coming out. I think it's called the Area. Um, uh, I might be mispronouncing it. I haven't checked that out. It's coming out in April, I believe. March or April. Um, for like $130. And uh, that looks to be interesting. I might take a look at that as well. And if so, I'll let you know. Uh, if you want some information on the Fitbit, uh, go to fitness.dwaynekilborn.com slash Fitbit. I'll put the link below in the description uh, part. Uh, it'll give you the information there, uh, what I came across. And um, also soon I'll have some more feedback as well as to how it's progressing. Uh, one thing it does also tra track is sleeping patterns. So um, for like $100, you buy it for $100. If you wanted to get the premium, you can pay 50 bucks a year which I might do as well, just to test it out for the first year, see if I really use all the reporting and all that kind of stuff. But um, they have all, all the tools are free otherwise. 
uh, sleeping patterns, I can press the button, hold it, it'll start a clock countdown. And actually last night, I guess it took me about 10 minutes to fall asleep, and then it will track my sleeping pattern from there on. One thing that did happen today, I did press, I must have pressed the button a few times by accident and held it, so I'm not sure how that's going to register as an activity. So that's something I have to kind of watch out for and uh, kind of play around with. So, but again, if you're interested in something like that, you want to track your calories, you want to kind of, um, you know, maybe see how many miles you really are walking in a given day, uh, you'd be surprised, uh, you know, how that can uh, tally up over you know, the course of a day or a week. So again, the Fitbit, check it out. And let me know what you think. Uh, I'm on Twitter at Dwayne Kilborn. Again, that's down below as well. And I'll be putting a blog post here in a little while, uh, next few days or so. And I'd love to hear what you think. If you tried it, if you tried something similar, if you think something's better or worse than this, I'd love to hear it. You guys have a good one. Talk to you soon.